Hello, all of my friends. This is me here again. I forget my name or I'd tell you who I was. But um, I was on here earlier and made a video. You might have seen it. My video was using this die set right here where I made a card. And I made a card on that video if you watched it. If you want it, it was over an hour long because I'm a slow maker. And um, I'm, I'm trying to take these little ladies out of here. I love this. Oh, yeah. Okay, I made the card. Actually, here's the card. This is the card I made. And I'm sending it to my friend. Okay, but I also need to make the envelope. <coughs> Because I like envelopes to be pretty as the card. And so I just die cut this little lady. I love this little lady. She was sent me to me by my friend that lives in Pakistan. And she sent me the die so I could cut as many of these as I choose to wish. Okay, the reason I have you here again today... The way I have you, the, the, the reason I subpoenaed you in here again today is because I want to show you how I make my envelopes. But I learned as I was playing, I learned as I was playing, well, I have this other die. That's this one. There's two dies in this one. One in there, both. Let me see. What's they called? Cityscape Skyline. This one was called Cityscape Suburbia, and this one's called Cityscape Skyline. And there's two different Skyline Dumouflages on there. Now, because I like to decorate the envelopes. Now, see, this was the, um, the uh, what do you call it, the um, negative part of where I dock, die cut this piece right here you see how the um the die cut the die is right here the cityscape if you can see through all that glare because i covered it with packing tape because it's on the outside and i don't want it to fall apart before it gets to the person that i'm sending it to okay so i die cut that out of and use this piece of paper but then i took this piece of paper <coughs> And I just put it on this envelope like this, and I just inked it. And so I have, like, for instance, you know what I do? I like to put art, but I put it on the back, on the front of the envelope, and I use the back of the envelope to put the address on because it's easier to put art on the front. So, like, here, I take my vintage photo... Well, you can take any color you want, of course, of ink, any kind of ink. And but I got the distress oxide, and and so and I just go down this way. See, I just put the ink down this way, and I get it. So I've already done like four envelopes, three envelopes. This is the fourth one, but see, I'm going inking down this way. See, so. And you can go to the bottom of the envelope or you can just leave it like that. Well, you know what? I think I'm going to go. I'm going to go down further. But I'll go all the way down with the ink. And there, like this. Thusly. Okay. And see, then you have the whole skyline there. And it's by using the outcast the negative of your die cut so see these are multi-purpose multi-purpose apparatuses look how pretty that is i love that i think that's great and then now see how i use the houses here on the card i went ahead and i cut out a bunch of houses right here this is a bunch of my little houses now, if you didn't see the last um, video, I explained how 
this die set comes with 23 individual dies. But there's only one, two, three, four, five, six houses and two trees. A clothesline with clothes on it. And then it's got separate dies for the for the little windows, the roofs, the chimneys, the antenna, and the tree is two two pieces, balconies. It is great. It is so much fun. This is so much fun. It's by Sizzix, Thinlets, and it's um this one's called Cityscape Suburbia. And it's wonderful. Take my word for it. But see, you can get all. Now, with this, this is what I plan to do. Let's see. Do I want to? I'm going to. Well, I'm going to do all of these envelopes. But now on the card, I used all everything. One, two, three, four, five, six houses, both the trees, the clothesline with the clothes on it. But now on the envelopes, I won't do as much because... On this envelope, I want my girl to be on there. She's my girl, and she is me. I am even shaped like that. I am lying. <laughs> yeah, no, I've never been shaped like that. But um, she does have my dogs, though. I but but I have four. I have four dogs. This girl, she's only got three, so she's not as lucky as I am. I am knocking out some of the pieces here that needed to come out okay she's got one in her purse and she's got two lagging around behind her she's so cute and adorable so but anyhow i love this die so much anyway what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a couple of houses on so, so you can put the houses wherever you want to, because this is your town. This is your city, your town. Your city, your town. And um, so I'm going to put a couple of these houses here so that when it goes through the mail, it'll entertain even some of the Male, male people, male people, you know, the people who send the mail out. Okay, so I'll put a house there. Now, <clears throat> let me tell you another trick. Let me tell you another trick. I'm a trickster, let me tell you. Now, here is like the, this is where I cut the pieces out. So I can go like, I can take one of my little buildings, my little houses, Okay, I can put this one like, I can put right here. And what I'll do is, I'm going to get this other, this other Distress, this is peeled paint, Distress Oxide, peeled paint. Let me see, then I need a different thing here. Oh, that one work. I use these makeup sponges. They work so lovely. And I am just going to use this. And I'm going to make this little house just by using this as a stencil. And using my, what is that? Yeah. And using the makeup sponge. And I'm putting that house on there with this. There we go. Now, I think that looks just gorgeous. There's that house there. Now, looks like it's floating, doesn't it? It's not really floating. But see what will happen is I'll put like her somehow like that. I'm not sure yet. So anyway, did I glue that? Yes, I did. Okay, see, and then I can take another house. Oh, that's the same house. I don't want to have the same one. That's the same as that one, but I could put that one there. You know what I should have done? Oh, there's always a lot of things I should have done. I always say that. I should have done. 
I should have done something different, but <coughs> hey, I didn't. I did it this way. I did it this way. Okay, this one. Okay, maybe this is enough houses. All right. So I am going to put this one right here. So I have one that I did with the stencil. And there, and I'll put this one right here like this. All right, now, oh, I had this one too. I could have put that one. But there, I, oh, I can put this one over here on this, this one. I will. I will do that. Wait a minute. Let me see my lady. How will she fit? Yeah, that's how she's going to go. So I will put this like this. So this is just a good idea. I think it's a good idea. I don't know. Maybe not, but how come? Oh, this is supposed to go over here on this one. <laughs> I was going to say, how come I'm losing my mind? So we'll have that house there. Now. Now then. Now again. Now. Then of course there's always trees. So I'm going to put me a tree here. Yeah, this is a good place for a tree. Good place for a tree. I'm just going to quickly get something on this envelope. So, um, yeah, that tree is going to go there. And then, let's see about this house roof. See, then I can take that roof. Roof, does that go on that one? No, that one doesn't go on there. This one goes on here. No, that doesn't go on there. This must go on here. You know what? It doesn't matter. I'm going to put... Is that, that's the same as that one. Oh, maybe this goes on here. I mean, I could have put that other one on. Yeah, this one, this one fits circumcifically. Okay, so I'll put that on there. And, um... And... That's cool. All right. And then on this one, then oh, oh, oh. I have another piece. I know I cut one out. I know another piece that goes on that roof. Well, you know what? Maybe I didn't cut one out. Maybe it was just something I thought I did. I sh oh, here it is. I knew I had one. Now see this piece here. That's in the set too. That goes on the roof to make it look like there's shingles. Where did I put my tweezers? Oh, goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Oh, here it is. Oops. I have to have my tweezers here because of the banana fingers. Will not let me hold this and glue at the same time and get it stuck where it belongs. So, then that can go on there. Now, is that groovy or what? Now, I'm going to take, like, this is a winder. So, I'm going to put a little glue on this little tiny winder. Now, these little pieces are very small. But, man, are they fun. I'm going to put a window on this building here that's in the background. And then, I need to have, let's see, do I have them another window here? Here's a window. Window, window, window. Or a winder, or whatever I want to call it. I'll put this right here. Put that winder out there. And then, here's another one. Another winder, so I'm going to put that one on there. Put that one right there. See, and that looks pretty good. Now, where's my... Okay, and then this tree... Let's see, does it go this way? Yeah. This this is the tree trunk. Now see, so I it cuts the whole tree out in one color, but then you can so I cut it in green and then I can cut I cut the trunk out in a tree color. So that's pretty awesome. 
this is fun. This is really like extreme amounts of fun. Now, see, I can take this. This is a um, overlay for the little steeple thing here. I was going to call it a chimney, but it's not because it's pointy. So I'm going to put that on there so it's a little bit different color. It almost looks like something that a school bell would be in. Now, now if you look, all I've done is looked at the front of the picture of on the on the packaging to see where things should go. But I don't think you have to go exactly like the packaging shows. I think you can get creative, get your creative juices flowing and and piece it together however however you want. So that's why I'm doing this. I'm just piecing it together however I want. Okay, do I have another one of these, a different color? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, that's better. That's El Macho Better right here. This is something. I don't know what it is, but it's a part of the building. I do know that. So this is decorating the envelope. So, you know, usually envelopes are very boring because they have nothing on them. But I think that we should always... Decorate the envelopes as well. Now, let me see. Is this a roof? That would match that, but I don't... I think I want it to be a different color. Yeah, this one. So it, it it's almost the same color. It's almost the same, but it's different. So it's all good. So we want to have this roof on here like this that's nice see now where's that tv antenna that one can use a tv antenna oops oopsie daisies this is the tv antenna i think it's a tv antenna it could be something else but i think it's a tv antenna and we'll put that on the roof of that building right there there now then, let's see. Okay, this one needs... This, this, this one needs a tree. I accidentally put two pieces of cardstock together when I was die cutting that. I didn't know I had two pieces together. It still cut all the way through. I was, I was impressed. So I'm going to put... This tree is going to be way up here somewhere. I'll put that tree up there. Do I have another tree trunk in my canoe? Oh, yeah, here's one. Yep, there we go. There we go. There we go. Another tree trunk. Let's glue that on here because we do need to have the tree. There. Look at that. How pretty. Now... Let me see. I'm going to go ahead and get her put in here. I'm going to put her there. And a little girl. My little lady. She's taking her little dogs for a walk. In the city. She's got them on a leash. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't get this piece popped out right here. Oh, maybe I didn't. Oh, yeah. It's going to come out. Oh, Elizabeth, fumble fingers. Okay, there we go. We got it out. So I'm going to put her right here, and there she walks in town. Very proud. She's very proudly walking through town. There, see? Now I think, oh, now I got to get her on this one too. Yeah, like this. And so it's just a collage of of um, items. Oh, I gotta get that one out of there too. Now, see, usually people sometimes people keep your card and throw away the envelope. Well, in this case, 
I bet you they saved the envelope. If they're anything like me, anyway, I save stuff. But then I'm a pack rat or a hoarder or something. But I'm going to just put that in there. Papa, are you busy? What you need? I need this envelope, this letter to go out in the mailbox. All right. I have an envelope here. It needs to go in the mailbox before the mailman comes. Put on your foot. Yeah, put something on your foot. You got your sweater on? Yeah. All right. There. Now, now see, this one I think is going to need. Where it is. Oh, right here. Oh, no. Here. Thank you. I love you. You're so wonderful. Thank you. Now, see. Now, I kind of like this with the brown envelope better than I like the white envelope. That white <laughs> scares me somehow. All right, but it's okay. I'm, I'm, I'll get unscared. Now this, oh yeah, this needs to go right here. That can go right there. Now I don't think I have another one of those dumaflages with the shingles to go on there, and that's okay. Now this, yeah, I'll put a, I'll put a balcony on that house. You know, if I send this to somebody and I find they threw this in the garbage, I know they won't. They'll put it in their junk journal, which is fine. That's where you should put it is in your journal. There. Put that on there. And then, oh, here's another one of the shingle things. Oh, I'm good. Oopsie daisies. This is good. You know what I might do on this one? I just thought. What it might be fun too to do also is to put like a little quote up here. Maybe a little sun right here. And um, okay, let's see. Okay, okay, now then. And here too. Or I could put it to somebody. Like who, who, what their name is. I could put their name up here in lights. And like, oh, that's what I could do. Make like a billboard. And put whoever I'm sending it to, put their name like up here in a billboard. But what I do then is I take packing tape. This is all the further I'm going to go with this for right now. Because I think these are basically finished until I have, I have, um, I hope that'll fit in there. Yes, that'll fit in there. Until I have the person to who it's going. I just like to get them made up ahead of time. But then I use this side. Now, see, on this side, I'll probably stamp something. I can put their address here and my return address here in the stamps. And I'll probably stamp something here and maybe even put something like right here on the envelope. Because I'm doing them backwards. But see, then they have this here back to save. And because I put packing tape over it, it seals it all together and makes it most beautiful. So that's what I wanted to show you is how I do this, um, the envelopes. And I love this. I just love this here die. Um, and like I say, my friend in Pakistan sent that to me. I cannot believe she did that and mailed it all the way. I'm just amazed at getting mail all the way from other countries. So, oops, I just heard a ding dong. That means somebody sent me a message. Who sent me a message? 44 degrees outside and windy. 44. You know what? I need to check. I want to check that other temperature guide thing, that thermometer out there, and see if there's a difference. Because the one that's right by the kitchen window might be a little higher because of the warmth from the house. Yeah, well, just check, just to make me happy. You know how I am. I have to have my way, my way or the highway. I'm just curious if it reads the same. Well, the one 
And what did this one say? 44. Yeah, so see, I figured it might be a couple degrees warmer on this thermometer because it's right by the kitchen window and the kitchen is warm. I love that there. And I love this set. I didn't know if I was going to really like it after I saw it because the pieces were so small. But now that I can see what I can do with it, and see, I just cut out a bunch of starts there. So, and see, I've got a couple of envelopes here inked so I can go on with my bad self with those. And like I say, you can use these cutouts as, you know, I could have even done that on the um, tree trunks to use these and just ink through them. Just use the daubers and go through them like that. I think it's beautiful. I could put some light. No. I put some light on that one. No. But anyhow, that's all I wanted to share with you today on that story right there. Now, you know, I wish I could find. I don't. I looked for that this morning when I did the other. Um, when I did the other video, my little book. I don't know what I do with my little book. Now, if you don't want to hear me read a story, you can leave now. But I'm sure you want to hear me read a story. But my book is growed legs and walked away. So it's not here. Where did I put it? Okay, never mind. I'm going to use this instead. I'm going to go here into my Power Thoughts. 365 Daily Affirmations. I'm just going to open it up. I'm going to read four pages. As you can see, they're small. Number 122. I constantly find new ways of looking at my world. I see beauty everywhere. And that is so true. You know, even if you look at um, a dead tree dead there's beauty in it there's beauty everywhere okay i bless and prosper others and they in turn bless and prosper me prosper me and that you know how we always say what goes around comes around it is very true so you treat people the way you want to be treated and you will be treated in that way and on 124, it says, I envision a world of peace and plenty. I feel, I feel harmony and unity between nations, and I contribute to that harmony. That's it. I do envision a world of peace. One day, it's going to happen. I sure hope. I think positive. Okay. 125 says, there is enough time and space for everything I want to do. See? This is a good one. That means I'm not a hoarder. There is enough time and space for everything I want to do. And that is true. That is very good. And those are Power Thoughts by Louise Hay. So I do daily affirmations every day. Keep myself thinking positive and putting my lid on my glue here before it dries up. Okay. So I want to thank you all for coming by again. And um, you guys are awesome. Very awesome. And, um, and, and I want to ask God to bless you every step you take, every move you make. And I want you to please come back on the next video because I love seeing you. God bless.